listen, I don't even want to do this video, but I know that the last one pissed you off so much that I'm going to do it anyway. And I know that a lot of people are looking forward to it. So Melissa Schumann, you little shit stain, you're going to get it. You're going to get it again because I'm so over you right now. I've, I've completely had it with you, so you're not going to like this video, so you might as well just give it a thumbs down and tell your friends to just give it a thumbs down not to watch it and try and report it. You can't report it. There's nothing you can do. You can't go to a lawyer. You and your seven lawyers. We all know that that's BS. You are so full of shit. No one believes anything that you say, okay? There is nothing you can say to shut me up, okay? And... At this point, you really pissed me off. You pissed me off during Thanksgiving. You pissed me off during Christmas, okay? We waited for Nick Carter to come back and say what he needed to say, that it was consensual. We all believed him. After we read your story, uh, you kind of weren't believable. And you know what? Your actions ever since the Dr. Oz show weren't very believable. And you know what? You said on the Dr. Ross show, I don't want your money. I don't want to be known for this. All right, you guys need to stop texting me. Okay, so I'm really, really, really sick of you. Okay, I blocked you because I'm tired of hearing about you. I can't stand you. And then what I think is so interesting is the day that I block your husband who... All these girls think are absolutely, they think, they, they think he's homosexual. I didn't know that. I didn't know that your husband was gay, but I didn't make it up either. But apparently your husband's homosexual and you, they just want, he just wanted a child. So anyway, there's a group that's got all your information, where you live, uh, income, everything. And there's also a girl that we're going to get to. It's been going to your house lately. I thought you should know that. Uh, the girl from Pomona. Uh, I'm not going to give her name though. I know her name though. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not giving you any information. All right, so a couple things that I'm going to bring up because you're pissing me off. I don't like you, Melissa. I could have been your best friend if I believed you. Because you lie about everything. Okay, and uh, let's get to a couple of things. Yeah, you just blocked uh, your biggest fan, Elizabeth Davis, with the uh, extra chromosome. I heard last night while I was out with my girlfriends. Oh, yeah. Your biggest fan. Good going. Okay. You pissed her off. Let's get off of that. Uh, you also made a passive... Ha 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 ha. That was a tweet to me. No, no someone just texted me something. Um, my sister's having a baby, and she was... They were talking about the names. And my husband went back to her and said, name, name the baby George Michael Cole, because <laughs> I love George Michael. That's why I was laughing. I didn't want anybody to think I was crazy. Okay, so let's get to, because I'm pissed off, let's get back to the shit stain. Let's go up to the top. Like I said, shit stain, I am not going to be so freaking nice. I'm really pissed off, okay? A girl like me with a life, friends, you know, homes. I'm about to move to friggin' London. You know, I got a, a husband with a great, great career. I, you know, have moved on from the Backstreet Boys. Nick Carter walked past me right now. I'm sorry, I probably wouldn't even think to be like, oh shit, there's Nick Carter. Do I wanna run into Nick Carter? No, you're not gonna see me show up at the Axis Theater, no. But why am I so heavily involved in this? Why? Because it's not even about Nick Carter. It's about you, Melissa, you demented little cuckoo bird. This is about you. This is about you accusing this guy of raping you 15 years ago, okay? I actually had my husband, who used to be an investigator with the government, read your story. And I had to, like, ease him into it because... He knew about me and Nick Carter and that stuff, like, before we got married. And he was not happy about that. I'm surprised he even married me. And it took him a few days, but he did read it. And I was like, uh, what'd you think? And he was like, this whole thing is absolute bullshit. And I'm like, tell me why. And he was like, well, 
I mean, he's like, well, Marissa, you're very intelligent. He goes, you tell me. And I'm like, well, this, 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 that. He goes, yeah, on top of this, on top of that. He goes, he goes, I couldn't even read the whole thing. He goes, no one will ever take this seriously. So that whole quote that you just put out saying that there's still an investigation is an absolute lie. So stop lying to yourself and stop lying to other people that there's an investigation against him, okay? You're a liar. Actually, a week and a half ago, and I screenshot it and I showed it to all those friggin' girls, I got a call and I didn't recognize the number. I let it go straight to voicemail. What was it? It was a call and they left a message saying that they were from the Dr. Oz show. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh my God. And I'm thinking that they saw this video because I've been tagging them and shit and thinking that they wanted to talk about this. So I call up and I start talking, I call this guy back, I think I, Cameron, I think his name was. And we start talking back and forth and I said, it turns out they wanted me for something totally different. Oh, we want you to fly in on Thursday, blah, 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 blah. You don't, you don't know exactly what I do, so, um, or what I don't do. That's what I like, and you don't know where I am. I'm all over the place, so... You can never find me, so don't even try it, that you're gonna talk to your little daddy and you're gonna try and sue me. Blah, 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 you're never gonna find me. You're never, ever gonna sue me, ever. Uh, anyway, I thought for a second that the uh, Dr. Oz show wanted to bring me on to talk about Melissa Schumann and that for some, by the grace of God, you were gonna be there and I was gonna be able to like, Take my shoe and shove it right up your friggin' ass. And I was just gonna be able to verbally abuse you and embarrass and humiliate you on television. And that would've been great. But unfortunately, it was fun thing else and I told them no. Uh, I don't like doing TV anymore. But you absolutely love doing TV for, for peanuts. I don't do TV for peanuts. I don't like it. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, but all the opportunities I got, if I wouldn't know you were so desperate, for cash and um, exposure, I would have given my opportunities to you. Sorry, honey. Um, anyway, I should not so know so much about the Backstreet Boys, and it's because of you. Uh, Thanksgiving was a little hectic, and tried to take my kid to Harry Potter World in Orlando for Christmas, and here's my phone. Beep, 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 beep going off for all this, all these Melissa shoes tweets. All the Melissa Schumann drama crap that I don't want to freaking hear. And now it's like I'm so heavily involved with, oh, Melissa did this, and this is Melissa's new screenshot with her new bull Me Too bullshit. Here I am. How do I know? How am I to know someone who knows nothing about Backstreet Boys except for like their first album? that Nick's at the new golf course having his birthday party and his cake is done by Max Fried. Max Fried who owns the best bakery in all, in all of Vegas, Henderson, 215 in Eastern. Like, he did all my cakes for, for my kid and me. Well, did, I don't, I'm sitting there like, okay, I should not even be tweeting Nick Carter about birthday cakes. What's gotten into me? It's because of this little bitch. So yeah. It comes all down to make me making this video because I'm at this point where I can't stand your ass and you've stressed me out and I don't like it. And I know I've stressed you out by making that first video and don't even dare come and say that that first video didn't piss you off. It did because you unblocked me to call me a bully. You unblocked me to say all these things that, oh, all my conspiracy theories are off. Okay, listen to me, you little demented delusional, uh, delusions of grandeur, sociopath. I don't even know what your deal is. To think that you think that you're so important that you actually thought, and we have screenshots of you and your husband, not your husband, the father. I question him, if you know what I mean. Huh. I question him. And I think you know what I mean. I think I might have hit the nail on the head with that one. So everybody, you can read on into that one. 
my conspiracy theory is you're trying to put yourself on a conspiracy theory. And if there's some girls watching that don't really understand what a conspiracy theory is, maybe they're in another country. Uh, she's trying to put her false story in the realm of things that may, uh, th certain theories behind the September 11th attacks or Mandalay Bay shooting or the first landing on the moon. Very significant things that have happened that have changed the world. And Melissa puts herself up there, up to that importance. People losing their lives, the world changing. So me, I'm creating conspiracy theories towards Melissa Schumann. Bitch, get your fucking head out of your ass. Is that the reason why your nose looks like that? Oh my God. Get your nose done, girl. I've done my nose twice, honey. It works. So anyway. Okay, you are a bottom-feeding bottom scumbag, yes. So I figured we would put this to rest on the first video. It didn't happen. Me too, me too. You're tweeting Rose McGowan and Alyssa Milano. And you're going back and forth with this Kaya Jones freak. That's why you get a part two. And I warned you. I kept telling you it was coming. You just kept on freaking going. And you think that blocking people is going to make everyone go away. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to make everyone go away. People are still screenshotting you. Your block list is 3,000 miles long. Doesn't matter. People still screenshotting you. So let's you getting verified was absolutely the most ridiculous thing in the world. And, you know, the, I, I'm very surprised that people think that Donald, uh, President Trump uh, has has got to get his Twitter revoked for tweeting craziness. I don't I follow Donald Trump. I don't think what he's tweeting is pretty bad at all. I think what you're tweeting is pretty bad. I mean, your, yours have actually gotten worse. Actually, from what I'm seeing, you keep mentioning Nick Carter's wife and his mom now. I don't even know what his mom's name is, what she did, where she lives, what her name is. I don't know shit about. I don't, I, I, I can barely remember Nick's wife's name. All I know is she called you a thirst bucket. And they did a passive aggressive video, which I believe was towards you. They were in a little embrace, like hugging, and they kissed each other. That's all they had to do. That's basically a big, uh, uh, Ms. Alyssa Schumann. And then I was told that uh, a, there was a screenshot that they put up in the group. Um, Nick Carter posted that he was listening to a very old song by Phil Collins. I'm surprised he even knows that song. Um, but I did know back then when I knew him that he liked classic rock. I don't care anymore. Obviously that was towards you. So you know what, Melissa, you have been trying to hurt his career. You told Dr. Oz, you told America that you weren't. So you're completely contradicting yourself. All I want to know is what the hell do you want? That's why I asked your father, what the hell does this girl want? And I was very nice when I asked, what does she want? Why did that piss you off so much? Why are you trying so hard to see that he doesn't have work so that his family suffers? But not only that, but Kevin and uh, AJ and Brian and I don't know what the other guy's name is. There's one more. But what did they do that they should be boycotted? You actually said that Z100, music station in New York City, should be ashamed of themselves for having them at a show or, or, or an award show. And what else? Oh, iHeartRadio. Really? Because you say that he's a rapist makes him a rapist. So in America, we skip the indictment, we skip trial, we skip we skip everything. There is no innocent till proven guilty. It's just Melissa says. Melissa explains it all and then Melissa 
says that he's guilty, he's guilty in public court opinion. But the thing is, is, you know, public court of opinion, we kind of all, even your own fans, all 12 of them are just like, this girl is a little monster. Like, don't you know that you're making the biggest fool of yourself? I told you to stop and you didn't. That's why you get part two. Now this is where it burns, bitch. Where it burns is, I'm not taking these videos down. So forever when someone Googles you, they get to see this shit. And I told everyone, hashtag Melissa Henschel because that is her legal name, always. So anytime that you get a job, if you do get a job, because obviously we know you're doing nothing but laying around and tweeting all day long, me too, me too, I'm such a victim, I'm sick of that. Who's taking care of that poor, precious little boy of yours? I have to know. I feel so sorry for that little boy of yours. And I've seen girls say that, you know what, she should be Baker acted. They should call CPS on her. Who's, is there a grandparent around? Who takes care of this kid because she's on Twitter night and day? You know what? I don't know. Because we know that you don't work and you're just on Twitter all day long. So you just neglect your child? Let me tell you something, darling. I have an 11 year old boy and my son is at school from 8.30 to 3.30, okay? All those hours in between, I'm smothering my child. I love my child. And my child is in so many activities. Piano, karate, he goes to basketball, flag football, and they're all cut up, gymnastics. I mean, and, and, and then he's reading on his, on his like free time. It's like, I don't, I don't get how you're a good mother. How are you a good wife? How are you a good wife if, I mean, are you, are you are you very lonely as a wife? I don't get it. Like, does he not pay attention to you? Does he dance with other guys way too much that you just have way too much time on your hands? And, and I didn't mean to say dance with other guys. Okay, I don't, I don't know much about his personal life. I don't know what these girls have found out. I don't know, it's not my business. But, obviously, I don't know if you're in a marriage of convenience, but you seem a little lonely, you seem a little bored, you just need to get it through your head that you might have to just suck it up and get a real job. Like, a real job. And I understand that you had high hopes for being a celebrity, but you kind of don't have what it takes to be a celebrity. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be realistic. You just don't have it, sweetie. You can't emulate Britney Spears and then think that that's going to pay off in the end. You can't carbon copy the girl and then think, yeah, I'll be the next one. No, that's not how it goes. There's nothing special about you. I don't know about your acting. I don't know about really you're singing. All I know is I saw you on Sharon Osbourne and it was pretty bad. I mean, it was, I was embarrassed for you. Um, why am I always embarrassed for you? That's sad. You're just a pathetic girl and I feel bad being mean like this, but you keep asking for it. And here I am on the front line because the other girls, these fans will not do a video. They'll just keep giving me all the information to do the video They'll, they'll give me the information to do the video because these girls actually don't want a connection if, you know, they get the chance to go see the Backstreet Boys and they get to meet them backstage. They don't want to like, kind of like, get yelled at by AJ or Nick or something like that. I get it. I get it. All these girls want is a happy birthday tweet. They live for it. They live for a like. And you know what? God bless them. They have been so nice to me. And you know what? I threw them under the bus once, you know, with my little stories. But it didn't hurt them. And I got paid actually more than you got paid for uh, your little Dr. Oz. You got... And, but my story was true. 
But anyway, um, very nice girls, very nice girls. And they know that you're a liar and none of them believe you. And in the beginning, a lot of them were very pissed off and believed your story until they kept seeing you tweet more and tweet more and tweet more and tweet more. And now they're just like completely had it with you. So you did this to yourself, baby cakes. So let's um, find out why you want to hurt the entire group. I mean, that's pretty messed up. But the thing is, is you're not accomplishing anything. And by Nick posting that pic, that video, I don't know, that thing of him not caring anymore by that Phil Collins, I believe that he doesn't care anymore. Because you know what? What you say, you're just one person and you are not that special. You're not. No one knows who you are. No one really cares. And the thing is, is you did more damage to yourself than you actually did to him. So I think he already got his revenge. But these videos are revenge because you pissed me off. And they're not really for Nick Carter because, I mean, if I happen to see Nick Carter, I wouldn't say anything to him. If he said something to me, I'd be absolutely polite. I'd be a little scared, but I'd, I'd be polite. But um, you, on the other hand, don't get the right to call me a fucking bully. You are the last person on earth to be calling anybody a bully. And then last night, to bring up your father, saying, oh, this is the reason why my dad calls you scum, blah, 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 blah. Get me out of your mind. Why are you thinking about me all the time? Like, why am I emblazoned on your mind all of a sudden? Why? Because my my videos bother you because they're going to follow you. And I think that you know that they've seen them. Oh yeah, we tag everybody. And now I get to tell you this. You, you little bitch, decided to go and tweet my friend, personal friend of mine, who's making headlines right now, Nicole Eggert, actress Nicole Eggert from Baywatch, Charles in Charge. I've been friends with her for years. And one night at sushi in Studio City, California, she decided uh, that we were going to get into a conversation. And she told me the story about Scott Baio in front of my friend Lorelai. I knew the Scott Baio story years ago. And I ended up sending her a message. And I said, where are you? Let's meet up for a glass of champagne. She's like, I am so booked up. Blah, blah, blah. You are tweeting away, Nicole Eggert, I support you. When I heard about that, I was like, this bitch. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. You don't get to just jump on everyone and hope that they're gonna be your friggin' friends. Nicole doesn't know who you are. <laughs> Nicole doesn't care about you. Nicole, mo most likely Nicole would just roll her eyes and, and she didn't even see your fucking tweet. She does, I know Nicole, she doesn't care. N yeah, she, we didn't even talk about you two months ago when this bullshit happened. Now, I know the Scott Baio story. You didn't even give Scott Baio, four seconds for his side. That's what pisses me off. Because you want to know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. I'm actually not going to talk to Nicole Eggert. I'm actually pissed off at Nicole Eggert for what she's doing. So this whole me too, a lot of it is complete, utter, total fucking bullshit. You're doing it for attention. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want is a reality show, more TV appearances, a book. You're not going to get a book. You put it on a blog. Duh. A TV show for what? You're not that interesting. You couldn't even get on The Amazing Race. That's easy. And from what I've seen from producing and things like that, you actually kind of got 
to like the second stages of casting because that audition tape was seen by CBS producers. Maybe I'm thinking too much, but you almost got it, but you didn't quite make it. Uh, you say you don't drink, but then you say you drink too much wine. You say you don't do this. You say you were a virgin. I don't believe that you were a virgin. I think that you are not okay up here. And I think that you are a habitual liar. I think that you lie so much that you believe your lies. I think that it's sad. I think it's pathetic. And I think that... I think that the biggest sadness of all is that poor, adorable little boy of yours has to suffer and have a mother that's suffering with what's going on in your head because there is clearly something wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. I would trust Jody Arias or Casey Anthony to rent a room in my house than I would over you because I think that you're that mentally unstable. You're about to snap. I don't know in which, which way. You are a ticking time bomb, girl. And let this video stand as a warning to the freaking world that this girl is gonna freaking blow because she's not getting her way and her daddy's not helping her. She didn't get her way, and she's not a star. No one made her a star. Her old manager, Nick Managers, he didn't come through. No one pulled through. So she's got an axe to grind, and that's all it is. That's the Melissa Schumann story. So why not try and get a little attention by throwing Nick under the bus? And trying to hurt his poor family with it. And the rest of the Backstreet Boys who did absolutely nothing. You're a pathetic bitch. You really are. You're, you're just... You make me sick. Like, you make me ill. Like, I had to take my chain off because I'm getting physically ill just thinking about you. So, anyway, these, uh, these uh, video things stay up forever. And, like I said... Ooh. Um, but like I said, let them stay up forever and act as someone's protection for the day that you snap. Because I'm warning you, this girl is mentally unstable and I believe she's unfit to be a mother. So go ahead and try and say that I'm trying to slander you. It's only slander if it's not true. You said that Nick Carter raped you with zero proof. I'm entitled to my opinion, you bitch. I believe that you are an unfit mother because you're never around your child. You're always on Twitter, all day, all night. So what are you gonna do now? You're gonna tweet a whole bunch of pictures of you with your kid. Oh, I love being a mom. That's what you're gonna do because you're just a sicko bitch. Anyway, I'm over you. Just, just, oh, God, you're gross.